Hi guys, <laughs> namaste. Namaste. Welcome to our channel. So thank you for all the support and all the kind words. Today we are gonna record the how we met video. We promised this already to you guys. So we will just bring up some memories and we will discuss what happened. It, it's a, it is a really long story. So yeah. let's get into it. So guys, this uh, was your COVID ka time. Tha. ठीक है तो कोविड के टाइम पे 2020 तो जहाँ पे मैं ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में काम करता था उस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में मेरे को बोला कि अभी आप वर्क फ्रॉम होम कर लो आप वहाँ से कंटिन्यू कर सकते हो तो मैंने ये वर्क फ्रॉम होम स्टार्ट कर दिया आपको भी पता है उस वक्त क्या माहौल था सब काफ़ी पैनिक था सबको और पता नहीं था कल क्या होगा क्या नहीं होगा इट जस्ट लाइक मूवी इट्स हैपनिंग इन द मूवीज दैट एवरी जस्ट लिविंग द कंट्रीज एंड मैनी काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स सो ऐसे ही हुआ था मेरे को अभी भी याद है मैं गुड़गांव में काम करता था मेरा माई मेरा ब्रदर जो है वो मेरे को लेने आया और पुलिस भी काफ़ी बह काफ़ी मतलब आपको भी पता है क्या माहौल था उस वक्त तो हम मैं घर पहुंच गया फिर वहाँ से मैंने कंटिन्यू किया काम तो आपको भी पता है जब घर से काम करते तो बिल्कुल कम्फर्टेबल महसूस होता है आप जब चाहो जब कुछ भी कर सकते हो घर इवन घर के भी काम कर सकते हो <laughs> तो हम सभी करते थे तो फिर भी मेरे पास टाइम जो बचता था उस टाइम पे मैं क्या करता था मैंने एक गेम खेलना शुरू किया था मैं खेलता पहले भी था वो बट मैंने फिर से कंटिन्यू किया और वो गेम था काउंटर स्ट्राइक 1.6 अभी तो काफ़ी आ चुके हैं आपको भी पता है ग्लोबल ऑफेंसिव और मैन बहुत सारे लेकिन हमने जहाँ से स्टार्ट किया वो था वन तो वहाँ पर एक सर्वर था हम उसी सर्वर पर मिले बेसिकली मैं वहाँ पे किसी को जानता था जिसका वो सर्वर था तो मेरा उस सर्वर से काफ़ी कनेक्शन था तो मैं इसलिए उस सर्वर पे गया और वो सर्वर था कुछ ओमनाज मैं किसी को वो नहीं कर रहा हूँ आई एम नॉट गोना एडवर्टाइजिंग एनी सर्वर बट आई एम जस्ट टेलिंग सो उससे मेरी कुछ काफ़ी मेमोरीज थी उस सर्वर से तो वहीं पर मैं गेम खेल रहा था गेम खेलते खेलते वहाँ पर मेरे को लूसी मिली मुझे नहीं पता था क्योंकि आपको भी पता है कि मोस्टली पीपल्स यूजिंग गर्ल नेम लाइक यू नो अबाउट द एंजल फेरिया तो यही चीज़ थी तो ऐसे ही बात होने लगी और मैं एडमिन था तो एडमिन था तो मेरे को सभी जो भी यूजर्स होते थे उधर जो भी खेलते थे मेरे साथ तो उनका मतलब क्या उन्हें चाहिए कौन सा मैप चाहिए वो चीज़ें देखनी होती थी तो मैं देख रहा था मैं सभी से पूछता था तो ऐसे ही एक दिन मेरे ये बात लूसी से हो गई फिर देन लूसी विल टेल आफ्टर दैट व्हाट हैपन माय साइड ऑफ दिस टाइम पीरियड वाज लाइक 2020 मार्च एंड आई वाज वर्किंग ऑन अ प्रोजेक्ट मूवी आई एम ऑलवेज वर्किंग ऑन प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड देयर वाज अ प्रोजेक्ट मूवी व्हिच वाज कट इन हाफ बिकॉज़ ऑफ द कोविड कोविड द द गवर्नमेंट जस्ट अनाउंस्ड दैट दैट्स इट फ्रॉम टुमारो इट्स लॉकडाउन एंड my work was basically done and uh, the next day i was jobless so i was sitting home and i remember that when i was in elementary school then we had this um, informatic class and the teacher was a 22 3 year old boy on that time so he was really obsessed with the counter strike 1.6 and he downloaded it to all the computers and we were like 12 years old and playing every afternoon counter strike so it just came to my mind that i really enjoy that what should i do what should i do i was sitting at home <laughs> nothing to do so i downloaded it and i started to play and i remember that i i like the the capture the flag game so i was searching for capture the flag servers and then i found this um, server uh, which was just about capturing the flag सो yeah. गाइज so mm. आपको भी पता है उसमें क्या होता था कैप्चर द फ्लैग लाइक आपको एक फ्लैग था दोनों टीम के पास एक के पास रेड एक के पास ब्लू हाँ. तो लाइक यू नो ऑलवेज देर इज अ टू टीम अपोजिट टू इच अदर सो वन टीम इज टेरिस्ट एंड टीम इज काउंटर टेरिस्ट बट इट डजेंट मीन इट हैज टू बी टेक लाइक ए एंड बी सो यही टीम थी एक के पास रेड एक के पास ब्लू लूसी मेरे अपोजिट ही रहती थी मोस्टली <laughs> तो हम दूसरे एक दूसरे को कैप्चर करते थे तो समटाइम्स सी किलिंग मी मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स सी इज अ गुड प्लेयर एंड भाई आपको पता है कि जब भी कोई किल करता है तो कैसी फीलिंग होती है 
सो so, वही था कि मैंने फिर देखा कि कभी कोई हैकिंग वगैरह तो नहीं हो रही है <laughs> <laughs> तो हैकिंग से फिर मैं गया स्पेक्टेटर में इस वहाँ पे एक दूसरा होता है जहाँ पे आप इंस्पेक्ट कर सकते हो चेक कर सकते हो बंदों को कि कौन क्या कर रहा है कैसे कर रहा है समटाइम्स आपको ही पता है हैकिंग क्या होती है कि दीवार दीवार है आपकी वोल है वोल के बाहर यहाँ से मारते हो और वो दूसरा बंदा वहाँ पे वो भी मर जाता है तो यही था मेरे को ऐसा फील हुआ कि मे बी इज सम काइंड ऑफ वोल हैक तो मैंने क्या किया मैं चेक करने गया चेक करके मेरे को पता चला कि यार ये तो सब कुछ क्लियर है फिर मैंने ऐसे ही बोल दिया जाके कि मेरा नेट स्लो है दैट्स वाई यू यू कैन इजीली किल मी बिकॉज ऑफ पिंग एंड दैट्स हाउ वी स्टार्ट टोकिंग समथिंग लाइक दैट एंड देन या वी गेटिंग क्लोज लाइक He was he was always trying to help to me even though I di- didn't need it. So come to spectator, I will show you where to do go where to. Uh, so he always started. He always wanted to help, and then I clear. I didn't notice on the time there was many players like thirty every day every night. So I noticed that one day he didn't come. Uh, he disappeared for like two three days, and I was asking. the other members that where is what where is what and they were start to they were starting to joke about me that oh you missing your husband you missing la 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 <laughs> and then uh, after a few days he came online and i was uh, i started to tease him aha uh-huh, you disappeared okay then buy me a bag buy me a purse <laughs> and then uh, from that point we were always um, joking about it that uh, i am his uh, wife and uh, he is my husband but it was just a joke on that time we didn't know anything about each other we didn't know i didn't even know that she is she is she or he <laughs> he i didn't know anything <laughs> he didn't know anything so we were we were just chilling actually and then uh, after a few weeks i think he he asked me if he can add me on instagram and i i gave him my instagram username yeah. and then we i followed to yeah. follow each other and we really liked each other and um since that we are talking like every <laughs> minute yes we started to talk it was a innocent talk in the beginning because we were thinking that it's just not possible i i had um I had difficulties on that time in my life and uh, I think he also had and we were thinking it's, it's it's just it's not possible so it was an innocent talk we didn't think it it can be happen he is living in India he he don't want to leave his country I don't want to leave my country because my parents are here his family is bohot big and um, <laughs> it was just like it's not manageable and then slowly slowly we just getting like connecting to each other like so deeply yeah. then we will start feeling like we have to do something we have to figure it out if it can be possible but it always ended up like it's impossible thing it's just like a dream yes but we have hopes we because we were talking each every minutes and every hours basically in a day ha uh, hum हमने काउंटर स्ट्राइक पे बात करना शुरू किया देन धीरे धीरे हम इंस्टाग्राम पे आए आई थिंक इट वाज इन 2020 थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी अप्रैल ना टू ट्वेंटी अप्रैल वी स्टार्ट टॉकिंग ऑन इंस्टाग्राम आई इवन नो द डेट सो या ऐसे ऐसे धीरे धीरे करते करते हमने बात की ज़्यादा समय नहीं लगा एक दूसरे को जानने के लिए लेकिन हाँ कुछ टाइम तो लगाई और चीज़ें वो भी टाइम इसलिए लगा क्योंकि चीज़ें जो होती है वो हमें पता नहीं होता कि क्या होगा इट कैन बी रियल और नॉट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल तो वही टाइम हमें इसलिए लगा और धीरे धीरे जो चीज़ हमें पता चली एक दूसरे के बारे में वो चीज़ें एक दूसरे से कनेक्ट होती थी तो मोस्टली चीज़ें हमारी सेम ही थी उसको भी गेम अच्छे लगते थे मुझे भी गेम अच्छा लगता था और आ, हमारी जो भी कुछ ऐसी थी कि हम स्विच कर सकते हैं और अपॉर्चुनिटी सबको मिलती है इसको भी मिली मुझको भी मिली बट ऑन दैट टाइम हमने सोच लिया था कि हाँ अब हमें नेक्स्ट लेवल पे जाना पड़ेगा क्योंकि इस लेवल पे जहाँ हम हैं वहाँ से चीज़ें नहीं हो सकती जो चीज़ इम्पॉसिबल है वो सिर्फ कहने के लिए इम्पॉसिबल थी उसको हमने पॉसिबल किया और आज हम यहाँ आए और सबसे बड़ी बात 
कोविड का टाइम था जब सभी फ्लाइट सब कुछ एवरीथिंग इज बेसिकली क्लोज लॉकडाउन था और नाम मिल सकते थे एक टाइम ऐसा आया कि दोनों कंट्री ने अलाउड कर दिया कि नाउ वी कैन गो एनी वेयर उस टाइम मैंने सोचा कि हाँ लेट मी ट्राई सो वी वर की प्लानिंग एंड फर्स्ट प्लान दैट वी वेल मीट इन ऑगस्ट देन वी वेल मीट इन नवंबर देन वी वेल मीट इन दिसंबर देन वी वर जस्ट प्लानिंग प्लानिंग बट वी नेवर सक्सीड विद द प्रोसेस and then uh, we applied we asked for help actually we were we were trying to uh, ask for a little help or uh, advice for from people but we always ended up uh, being disappointed so we decided that okay we don't need anyone's help we will do everything by our own we will read the internet we will watch youtube videos we will do everything by ourselves because we can only trust each, each other. other so then it was march yeah 2022 oh sorry <laughs> because we were waiting almost 2 years to to meet to the the, the covid to be over okay. and and with the papers with the lockdowns with the job opportunity we also we started to work again after that but we So we were waiting almost two years to finally meet, and um, then he applied for a tourist visa to Hungary because we we heard that that's the easiest way. Let's try that. Less paperwork, and why would they not let him to come as a tourist for ten days? He applied for ten days. Yes. And. So guys, you know, when you have a fresh passport, so. वो आपको एक्सेप्ट नहीं करते उनकी अलग अलग पॉलिसीज होती है और अलग अलग रिक्वायरमेंट होती है लाइक like, रिक्वायरमेंट तो सब कुछ फुलफिल थी सब कुछ था क्लियर बट आई डोंट नो व्हाट्स द रीजन बिहाइंड दैट दे कैन से फॉर नो रीजन एक्चुअली दे पुट इट द देयर इज अ पेपर वेयर यू गिविंग एक्सप्लेनेशन व्हाई दे रिजेक्टेड इट एंड इट वाज द इंटेंशन ऑफ द विजिट is not clarified so basically he they they thought that he he is just coming to hungary to escape and when they rejected us it was 3 days before his flight yeah we were waiting for weeks for for the answer so it was i think 3 days yeah and on yeah and on the time we were totally in stress every single day crying <laughs> um we wanted to meet so badly we wanted to see if everything is the same perfect in real life too so we didn't want to cancel the ticket on that time and we knew that there is only one country in europe which is not part of the european union and indian indians can go without visa and this is visa on arrival so serbia you know, yeah and serbia happened to me my neighbor country it's in my neighbor and it's not it not, not even far it's from where i am living it's 3 hours by car the border and then belgrade i think it's capital 3 more hours so we were like okay uh we're not going to cancel we want to meet so let's just change the ticket the destination to serbia belgrade and let's see what will happen एंड गाइज उस टाइम पे हमने इतनी वीडियो देखी है ना कि जो भी सर्बिया में जाते हैं क्या होता है राइट right? कि मैंने इतनी वीडियो देखी जिसमें मोस्ट नाइन्टी फाइव परसेंट पीपल को आ, सभी को मोस्टली <laughs> डिपोर्ट कर दिया जाता है हाँ. कि आप अलाउड नहीं है आपको वापस जाना होगा तो वो एंटर तो करते हैं सर्बिया में बस एयरपोर्ट तक एयरपोर्ट से वहीं की वहीं वापिस वो टाइम ऐसा था आपको भी पता है कि जब कोई टिकट खरीदते हैं टिकट आपको पता है कितनी एक्सपेंसिव है आज के टाइम में भी और पहले भी थी वो तो रहेगी भी ये भी और वही चीज़ थी मन में ये भी था कि मिलना भी है और दूसरी तरफ ये भी था कि अगर उन्होंने डिपोर्ट कर दिया देन 
what we gonna do next yes and it's not good to start your fresh passport with the deport <laughs> sticker <laughs> yeah so we had really big stress and it was three days you know we changed the ticket and we were waiting for three days uh, until the his flight yeah and uh, my plan was that um I was I was working on a project and I couldn't take leave, but it was a long weekend. And then I I, I re request my boss that sometimes I can be from home office, but other time I will switch. <laughs> and um, it was really really hard. And uh, the plan was that I'm gonna drive. It was a Friday, I think. Yeah. And I'm gonna drive to Belgrade Airport and I'm gonna wait if he comes out or not. Th that was the plan and it was really i cannot explain to you how stressful it is when you were thinking oh my god now you are in the same country even in the same building but you're not gonna meet i cannot tell you how how stressful it is so of course he was in stress because he he took like a 12 no 14 or 15 hours flight yeah. So he, he was stressing and every, every, when he reached to Delhi airport, they were asking questions. When he reached to Dubai airport, they were asking questions, interrogating him basically. <laughs> and uh, I was just driving. My, I think I had to drive six or seven hours yes. to Belgrade. And I was driving like this. And then, <sighs> then... Then Lucy, ne, uh, Lucy airport pe gochi Belgrade. Pe. Oh, let me tell this. <laughs> I read. <laughs> So I, I, after six hours of driving, I reached to Belgrade airport and there was only one uh, arrival, arrival uh, door. So I was waiting. I was waiting. I, I saw that his plane was landed and people started to ca came out and uh, I saw some Indian, but 95% uh, was, was European <laughs> Serbian people. So people were coming and coming and coming and still coming. And then I saw three big police guy. They were huge. <laughs> the Serbia Serbian police. Huge. They were so tall and so big. And they were taking um, um, an Indian boy out. So there was one police in the front. The Indian boy was in the middle and two, two police in the back. <clears throat> and then they were taking him out. And then I checked where they are going and they were going to the departure. So he was deported. deported. And then I started to shake that, oh my God, they are really deporting people. I, I was thinking it's, come on, huh? but they, they doing. So I was waiting and I was always wait, almost waiting for an hour and he just came out. And you know, he came out, he was looking, he saw me and he, I saw him. We were staring at each other like this, like for, and I don't know. <laughs> I still remember. And, and then I. I like, hmm? <laughs> <laughs> and then I said, that's it? You came out? He said, yeah, I think so. I said, did they ask anything? He said, no, let's get out of here. And then we <laughs> ran out. We were running out of the airport. <laughs> so we ran out. And uh, my sister was, um, uh, his brother was texting me, if he reached, if he reached. And my sister was also texting me. So we called everyone right away. I called my sister uh, on a video call. He, he, she was crying. She is our number one supporter. So, so she was the first who really supported us in the family. And so we called everyone. And then that was it. We, we spent 10 yeah. days in Serbia. Uh, the long weekend we spent in Belgrade and we were chilling and, and enjoying and getting to know each other. <laughs> and then we moved to the borderline, the border, because I had to go to the office. So some days I was driving three hours to the office, working in my office. Then in the end of my office time, three hours back to him. Yeah. This is how we spent uh, like a few days and after that I asked for a uh, home office so I we spent the last five days um, in home office together completely and yeah and uh, we are so thankful for Serbia yeah. we are really thankful to Serbia and there's a lot of people 
uh, in the Serbia, which is really nice and kind. Yes. Uh, they were helping and, and they were really we are so grateful because if if we don't have this we are not able to take pictures together which is required to the visa appointment to the family and friends invitation yeah. we have to show that, that we, we, are, we met at least yeah. no one's gonna believe that oh, online blah 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 they're not gonna accept it but at least we had opportunity to be together spend time together take some pictures together so we were so much um um, so yeah, basically we have a solid proof. We have solid proof. That's <laughs> it. That's correct. So yeah, that's how we met the first time. Yeah, it In, was March. Yeah, it was March yeah. eleven. March eleven. Yes, and then we were planning. My parents insisted, as he said, it's good if the boy comes and asks from the parents if he can yeah. take the girl. So we applied for the Hungarian visa. Yeah, we applied for that, the family visit basically. F f family and friends visit. Yeah. yeah. But unfortunately, they refused that too. Even we have every <laughs> proof, every documents, everything we have, but it's still... They rejected they... with the same reason as the justification of the purpose of the visit is not blah, 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 blah. We were so mad, we were preparing so much and our all his documents and my documents was completely fine and correct and we were so mad actually i was in rage so i sent an email <laughs> <laughs> to the hungarian embassy in india the to their email address i in hungarian i asked it was half re half respectful and half disrespectful just just asking like uh, dear sir, could you please tell me if all the documents were right at the blah, 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 then why you rejected? What? What else we need to show you? What else you want to see from us? <laughs> like this. Yeah. And he got mad and he called me from the, from the uh, embassy number that, uh, how you met? Blah, blah, blah. He was asking me questions and I answered to everything. And then he said, okay, I don't care about the papers. Uh, I want to see this boy in person. So tomorrow, 9 a.m., he should be there in the embassy. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> On that time, so... I was feeling like, oh my God. Now I have to go <laughs> embassy and I have to visit them. And I don't know how, because as she said, he was not nice with her on the call. And I, I would not say he was not nice. He was strict. Like, yeah. I don't believe in, in the papers. I want to see him. I want to talk to him. I don't care the papers. Just let, let him come in. That's make me feel like, oh my God, where we are now. Yeah. And then I was just like, okay, I don't know how many questions we are trying to search on the Google that yeah. what kind of interviews they're taking in the embassy. We were practicing. <laughs> I was asking, <laughs> we were practicing on the call. I was asking in an Indian English accent, would you please tell me what are you doing in your free time? We were joking, we were just chilling. So, it was basically, <laughs> we are just trying to be get happy, to be not yeah. get like uh, we are in Stress. trouble. <laughs> yes, yes. But yeah, unfortunately, she tried her best. I also tried my best to be not feel like we are stressed about something. Yeah. But we both know that we are fully stressed. So, so then next yeah. day you went to the embassy and... So guys, they called me to the embassy. The reason for the embassy was that they personally know me. That they saw my documents, they saw me. They were matching both things. They asked me questions. They also asked me that you had applied before. And then you also refused. After that, you went to Serbia. So I told them the reason that I had applied for the first time. हंगरी के लिए ही किया था, but वो refuse कर दिया that मेरे को कोई ना कोई तो वे चाहिए ना कि मैं लूसी से मिल पाऊँ, तो इसलिए मैं सर्बिया गया। तो यही चीज मैंने उन्हें बताई, उन्होंने मुझे बोला कि next day come back, और उन्होंने मुझसे मेरा पासपोर्ट ले लिया। so guys next day I take my passport and when I check the passport I have the visa for eleven days. yes. so yeah it was not easy. It 
it was not at all easy yeah stressful and those days are really slow you know when you are waiting for something important then the day is just so slow so we were waiting every hour was a uh, so miserable and again it was like two days before his ticket again i don't know we always planning in on time but then this is a document oh and not to mention just to invite him as a family and friend in here in hungary i had to go to the immigration and and so many paperwork bohot difficult bohot time bohot money so it was really really hard to even get the right documents and that's why we got really mad to be rejected yes but anyway he got the visa for 11 days so we were thinking that yay that's gonna be fine and when i applied for in the indian visa it was 12 hours and i i <laughs> i get the one year multiple entry visa so then he came to hungary that was a less stressful flight for him Anna. yeah you were chilling Anna. actually it was less stressful for me but in the dubai they ask the same questions to me again and mm. i was like now even i have the visa i have everything invitation letter he had and he still, still they were asking i was like i think it's not about the documents <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> anyway he arrived and uh, uh, you can see the video i put it next to here so you can see the video how i welcome him in yeah. the flat and we were chilling here for 11 days. I took him to my parents. He met my parents. Yes. And he asked if he can take me to India with himself. Yes. And you enjoyed a little garden party. Yeah, it was really good. And I really enjoy. And I still remember that day that when I came here and how they and see also welcoming me. And that was really, I like it. And I appreciate it. Of course, that was really one of the best of best days of my life that finally we made it after so long time and so much suffer. He's here and from this point, it's going to be so much easier because he got his Schengen visa and, and we have proof and it's just going to be easier. Yes, and basically now people say start believing after. Yeah, after. we don't want to address any um negativity but yeah we would like to tell you guys that it's not that easy as you think it is we faced many um negative challenges, challenges and negative comments negative thoughts oh come on it's not gonna work it's not gonna work it's not gonna work it's not gonna work <laughs> many and we always stick to our plan and we never left each other and we didn't care who said what we believed in each other and that's all matters and that's how we are here yeah <laughs> so after the 11 days he took me back with him to india yeah and i was both excited that was my first long flight i i i never had a, a i made the maximum was like three hours or four so it was really long but i enjoyed it i was so excited and even though I was watching Indian movies, Indian songs, I was reading Indian books, I was I was uh, cooking Indian food, I went to Indian shop. So I really tried to uh, get to know better about the Indian culture and the traditions and the food and everything because I was preparing. I didn't want to go there and meet his family like I don't know anything. So I was really working hard on my knowledge. So, but still, when I reached, it was so intensive and um <laughs> when she uh, actually the lucine land kiya na india mein <laughs> heat <laughs> yes it was fresh <laughs> it was Ju june 21 <laughs> bahut bahut hot bahut garam garam yeah uh, garmi garmi bahut garmi um so it was amazing and i then i spent there two months we were we were in his family but we were traveling we visited uh, punjab yeah. rajasthan many places himachal himachal uttar pradesh yes uh, many places really we visited and actually you can see those videos in our channel 
if you yeah. scroll back then you can see those and it was the most uh, wonderful two months in my life uh, really I, I i don't want to talk about it because then we will stay here all day so <laughs> let's keep to the point where i had to leave it was august 15 the independence day yes i had to leave on that time because the flight ticket was half price <laughs> because obviously no one's leaving on weekends the independence day yeah. so i left on that time and then um, i was here with my family and uh, i started to we started the paper process again for him to come in for a longer period for um christmas birthday new year blah, blah, blah. but before she came one more time in india yes but we were i was i was preparing with the with the documents because um, there are documents which you have to give to the embassy in original so I was thinking, I'm going to go to back India anyway for Diwali, so let me do the paperwork before and I'm going to take the papers with me, so we will save money. <laughs> so uh, I was preparing with the paperwork, there was <clears throat> the invitation letter can be from the immigration office and from a public notary. Yeah. So um, first time uh, I took it, in, in the summertime I took it from the immigration, but uh, then I got the knowledge that it's so much easier if you just go to the public notary and just take the invitation letter from here. They just giving you right away. You don't have to wait um, two, three weeks. So first I, I applied for this immigration not, uh, invitation letter, but it just didn't come. It just didn't come. It just didn't come. I was waiting, waiting, waiting. And then before I traveled back in October, I just took the public notary letter. Let's try with this. Let's see. And when I was in the airport on 5th October, then I got the email that, yay, you got the immigration invitation <laughs> letter. And I was like, nice, <laughs> whatever, let's try with the notary letter. And then, yeah, I go back, I went back and um, I spent a wonderful one month again in India, in Diwali, and we visited uh, Mumbai yes. and uh, Kiawa. Well, actually, before she, la she landed in India, I got an injury in my leg. Injury? Yeah. Fracture, it, I would say. Yeah, it's a <laughs> fracture and I even have a surgery for that. <laughs> yes. But... Uh, but we, he managed it. He yeah. was so... He was so amazing, even though he was in a plaster and so much pain, <laughs> he was taking me wherever I wanted to go. <laughs> when you are walking with the fracture leg, and with full of plaster, people's watching you like this. <laughs> and I actually I don't care about what the people's watching and what they're thinking. My intention was just to let her to know or let her to explore as much she can. So I just taking her to the Mumbai and I take as much. Market. He took me to the markets, plaza, yeah. mall. So we really enjoy there, and we appreciate for everything. And yeah, it was easy. Even I have a plaster, the, the flights and every, they are supportive. They even manage the wheelchair for me. So yes. I appreciate everyone. Really in so many kind people, it's unbelievable how, how kind the people are in India. So uh, again, I had to leave on 5th November. Uh, I was there for like a month and on that time he applied for the visa. Um, so I, I went with him to the visa center and um, we applied for a longer visa and for 60 days for a start, 59 sorry. And uh, after we submitted the, his documents for the longer visa, just one night I got a call from the embassy and they were asking me questions how we met he was really nice and um, he was just asking how we met how we managing the long distance relationship how we managing it with the work um, and to be honest we are really lucky that we are both of us both of us are able to work from home and and we are really grateful to our companies and to our bosses as well to yeah. to make it happen so yeah i just uh, answered the questions which he was asking and then he said okay 
thank you for the thank you for your time then we hang up he didn't say anything if it's a good if it's bad what yeah. but so i don't know but at least he called me so it it means that he's really taking care of this um this topic this application not just rejecting it not just accepting it he's really digging deep and um we went to the visa center to collect it because we got the notification then it's there so we went there and then he opened the envelope and he took the passport and he said ah it got accepted because there is no paper <laughs> the paper is for the explanation why yeah. it's rejected so if if it's not there then it means it's got accepted, accepted. so he take out the passport and we checked the visa and it was there but there was a little mistake with the numbers and the period and we were half happy and half sad because we didn't know if it's a mistake or we just got less days. We asked for yeah. 20, uh, 59 and we got 43 days, which was not covering his flight ticket. So, you know, because you have to book a flight first okay. and then apply for a visa. So we were confused. <laughs> Sorry, it was my cat. <laughs> Uh, just wait a minute, let me show. <laughs> Perez, Ajao, Bolo. He want to talk to. Bolo, Bolo. Bolo. Hello. Hello. <laughs> he is Perez? No. Anti Shosom. So we were, we were confused. So again, I sent an email to the embassy email address. I said that uh, respectfully. That, hello thank you for the visa we are so grateful and everything but i would like to ask if it's just a mistake that the, the, the days are not covering his flight ticket or if it's not then we are thankful and grateful and thank you so much i just wanted to ask and then i got a reply 10 minutes later that oh, tomorrow come back with the with the passport and we, we will check it so we went back to the embassy next day and we met the consulate and he was really nice and helpful and kind and he said sorry it was a, a printing it's, mistake yeah. so he came by himself he took the passport he took it inside he corrected it and he came back to us and we had a little chat with him he's a hungarian guy and he was really nice and kind and he wished us all the good things and he was so supportive and kind so we got the 59 days visa i left on fifth November and I had we had to wait two and a half weeks until he, he came so he came to Hungary on 23 November and um, spent here two months basically yeah two yes months. actually I celebrated the Lucy birthday and Christmas and her mom birthday as well and Santa Claus and my name day a new year oh yes Yes, so first was Santa Claus, yeah. then my name day, then my birthday, then Christmas, then New Year, then mom's birthday. Yes, that is. We ate a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I was again on the sweet diet. The sweet diet, yeah. Christmas is famous from, from the sweets and it was his first Christmas. And actually it was our first birthday together. We spent two of my birthday online and three of his online and this is this was the third birthday of mine and this is the first which we spent together yes guys and i really enjoyed and thank you for watching and i really appreciate everyone uh, who help us who teach us or who give us any kind of advice and yes I appreciate. yes and um, we discussed we promised that if there's any other couple who are suffering we're gonna support them because on the time we didn't know anyone um, and we would we would have been so grateful <clears throat> if we can you know so we discussed that if if we, some other couple will ask uh, help from us we will always help to give advice to the paper to the process what to do how to do the requirements we know a little little experience we have with the embassy yes. embassy right now what they would like to see what they would like to check so really, if you guys are in the same situation, then really just drop us a message in um, on Instagram and um, we will give you some advices. We will try to help. Um, and yeah. 
and guys and um, I also understand the embassy side they have to check everything and I really appreciate they are just taking it as a like you know their rules and regulation they have to do and I appreciate they are doing it very well yes. actually they protecting both of us both yes. of our sides they there are, are just so many scam and I appreciate that they are just taking it very serious yes so it's not about against of anything I agree that it can be hard for the person who is right and real but it's fine because there are some rules and regulations which they have to follow and which we also have to follow and yes. I appreciate and I am so thankful to everyone and yes. the embassy as well but you just have to give the right documents with the truth don't lie don't make up stories it's never work it never it's not never going to work so just really be be honest and and yeah be real thank you guys for watching and yes we appreciate everyone thank namaste. you so much namaste and we will come back with some other videos soon have a good day bye bye